68 Ooh. last year. Nice. Average about one a week. Yeah. Great. So yeah. um yeah. Try and get it up to what, sixty? Sixty. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like it's only 300 days off. What about you, Riga? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I've, I've got some good plans for next year. I want to do some um, like new videos and things like that, and mm. new recordings, and planning photo shoots and. Yeah. Just all kinds of stuff, really. It's Album, fun. maybe? Yeah, that needs sorting. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. I've got tracks kind of like coming out my ears now, and they all really yeah. need to be put into their little categories, I think. Yeah. There's an excellent uh, producer and recording engineer over there. Yeah, yeah. here we are. I just, are you, were you the guy that was at. Um, yeah. I just remember well, who you the are same. now. Yeah. Hi! Well, I, did, <laughs> I did the same at the Whiskey Music Festival. The Pig and Drum. That's it. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, there you are. You yeah. see? Well, he's, been, up tonight. he's been recording my stuff, which is one really brilliant thing about going out with a recording engineer because yeah. you know, get it for free. So, <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got an album out soon then? So? No, I'm, um, I'm not going to do an album. I've no. decided I'm going to do three EPs. Right. Cool. Three four-track EPs. Or did I say four three-track EPs? No, three four-track EPs. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, Rather than a whole album, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm just... yeah that's good. Fun. Yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. So, are these four or three EPs going to be out next year, or is it going yeah. To be... yeah, yeah, yeah? I've done about. Well, I mean, I'm demoing stuff at the moment, yeah. so um, yeah. it's sort of underway, and I keep listening to it and going, well, "That's not right, and that's not right." And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Are you a bit of a perfectionist then? No. No? No. I used to be a perfectionist, and then I realised that life really is too short. Yeah. As long as it's good enough, yeah. it's just a case of when is it good enough. Yeah. You know, I can actually leave stuff alone. Yeah. Um, but the, the problem with a recording is, it's there forever. Yeah. And if you don't get it right, then you're going to hear that thing that niggles you every single time you listen yeah. to it. You know, that note that you didn't quite get in tune, or that word that you didn't pronounce quite right, it sounds a bit odd. If you don't, you know, spend the time and get it absolutely right, it'll niggle you forever. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I've got lots of recordings that I just can't listen to anymore because they're not actually that good. Because we didn't spend the time, the, the right amount of time on them. Yeah. And it was a case of, oh, that, that's fine, that'll do, that'll do. But the more you listen to it, the more you can hear the things that are wrong with it. So I'm taking my time this time. Because mm -hmm. uh, I want to be, I want to be really proud of yeah. Of what you know, I produce next yeah. year. So, because you know, I'm getting on a bit now, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to lose my opportunity. Oh, poor old dear. I know. Had so. <laughs> the violin, I would have done that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, EPs, or is it going to be albums? Oh, uh, I've got um, I've got ideas for a, a couple of albums mm. and a couple of EPs. Right. Um, yeah. And like I've got idea for like conceptual stuff as well, because um, I'm inspired by artwork. I, yeah. I've kind of got ideas based on art and not just kind of stuff that happens in my life that I like to write about. So yeah, some some weird and wonderful things will hopefully yeah. creep out the woodwork. Yeah. I've got an idea for um, an EP called Taxidermia. And it's inspired Ooh. by um, um, an artist called Polly Morgan, and she basically does really amazing taxidermy it because like the, the stuff you see in like pubs with like deformed foxes and cobwebs and stuff that that freaks me out it does me but this this woman's work is absolutely beautiful and when you kind of read about her she's passionate about animals she absolutely adores them mm. and she gets the an animals donated from people and all kinds of different places yeah. But it's just incredible what she does with it. So I had some ideas, like just looking at her work for yeah. some some songs, yeah. and um, I sent her a, an email just saying, "Hey, do you mind if I, you know, use inspiration from some of your work to write some songs?" And she was like, "Yeah, whatever." Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. So, yeah. yeah well, I actually had to go to a taxi derby place in Oxford. It freaked me out completely. Oh. I had to deliver something for one of my boxes, and I had to go around the back garden, and in the pampas grass was a rhino's head. Scared the hell out of me. It's a bit it's every animal you could think of was stuffed in this shed, and it was like, oh. Really? So, would you want to be stuffed? 
You can Me. be stuffed and put then in the corner of the studio. Then I'd be stuffed and put yeah, in the yeah. corner of the... That, <laughs> I, I like that idea. Yeah. Just to irritate everybody else. I'm Just a little bit of PTR. some water. Yeah. <laughs> Cut that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would be that would be a cracker, yeah, just like in a glass case in the corner. Yeah, yeah, in some pose. Yeah. Or what we could do is you could wear a Spider-Man outfit and we could stick you on the ceiling. That's great. It, yeah, that That's would great. be just overhanging. Yeah. Here. If you get a powerful fan, you could get some wind behind the cave as well. Yeah. Get it blowing in the wind. That's super. Fans down there. Oh, God. Spider-Man doesn't have a cave. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I don't know my superheroes. We could adapt it. We could mutate the two. Oh, yeah. That's how you'd avoid the copyright infringement. Yes. So you could have Spider Man with his pants on over the top of his tights. It wouldn't be a nice thought for anyone, though, would it? Hey, whether hanging from the ceiling in his pants. He's a strong wire, too. Would you like to be taxidermied then? I was going to tell you, get stuff. Wow. Oh, that's just wow. really bad. Now I want to be, um, I want to be catapulted into a tree when I die. This is an alternative funeral. <laughs> that sounds cracking to me. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any thoughts on more funeral? <laughs> yeah. I'm not thinking about that at all. I wish I'd I had a taxidermy for far enough. too long. See, I, I knew my answer to that question straight away. Yeah. You asked me what my favourite song is, I haven't yeah. got a clue. Okay, but I saw clearly, yeah. I've clearly spent far too long thinking about what's going to happen to me when I die. Yeah. A lot of people like being fired off with fireworks, not then stuff, but yeah, it's a bit boring. Well, Matt's going to have a Viking burial. They're going to yeah. shoot firing, flaming arrows into a boat. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Just like that, seven. Grand, yeah, yeah. Or on the canal, Birmingham. I'm going to get arrested right here. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be worth it, though, wouldn't it? You'd yeah. make the papers. That's right. Yeah. Publicity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dear. Why do I follow that? I don't know. <laughs> it's from me. I don't even know who he's going with this now. I don't even care now. Let's <laughs> talk about stuffed animals. Stuffed animals. What are we going to talk about next? Uh, I don't know. Um... Well, I've got a hamster I've got to bury quite soon. I've well. just buried oh. a chicken yesterday. Yeah. That's supposed to eat chicken. I could have, really. I could have combined it as a Christmas meal, but it was like a pet one. Uh, so, yeah. Well, this was our pet hamster that we lost a year and a half ago. Well, you just so found it. Around? No, it, it wasn't very well. Oh. <laughs> it was basic. I found it in the cellar. And oh. I must have got into the cellar and couldn't get out again. And the poor little thing was just a sort of ball of bones and fluff. Yeah. So Million. I put it in it and it didn't smell or anything. Right. I picked it up with gloves. Put it, I put it in a, a light bulb box. Right. And I've written R.I.P. On yeah, it, and I've yeah. got to bury it after the coffin. So, uh, right. Are we having a, you know, an ordinary funeral for this, or has this been yeah. catapulted somewhere? Oh, yeah, I could, yeah, I could prototype it, couldn't I? Yeah. And then do some maths and well, you know, it's so scale small, it up for a human. Fire it up with a rocket or something, maybe. Oh, yeah. Send or it up in one of those lanterns. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. You can make a little basket for that. Because every hamster wants to fly. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <That's not random. laughs> yeah, yeah, ask the hamster, hey, do you want to fly? Yeah. <laughs> squeaks at you. <laughs> oh, great. Make a little plane for it then. A little remote control plane and put it in the parachute and then just drop it out somewhere. Certainly get some magic. Just being silly now, Dave, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hamster in a plane. I'm sure you've got material there, Ria, for another song. Yeah, they do, mate. There's something badass with that. There's no snakes on a plane. Uh, hamster on the, in a plane. Uh, in. In a plane. Yeah. Mm. These snakes were in the plane, though. It's that Samuel L. Jackson film. Have you seen yeah. that? No, snakes I, I, I don't watch anything. It sounds rubbish, but it's mm. actually really good. Really? What? Yeah. Snakes, tell us more about it then. You started it now, you've got to stop it now. Well, well, there's video there's, reviews. There's loads of snakes on the plane. Well, it just, I, I can't quite remember. There's some guy and um, somebody else wants him dead, um, some mm. gangster or something, and he goes up in this plane, he's being transported somewhere, and Samuel L. Jack Jackson's like his bodyguard. And um, these people have managed to get loads of lethal snakes and put them on the plane, and they all break loose, and there's this chaos. and. It's just really good, entertaining, crazy, bonkers. 
<laughs> and do the snakes die in the end? Yeah, they all go. Don't spoil it. Oh. <laughs> they all survive. <laughs> they get, get re And live happily ever after. <laughs> in reptile houses around um, the USA. Yeah. There you go. yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. We'll never know that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Who's go? I don't think it's me. It's so over to you, Sue. So. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to do a couple. Where did go down the pub? Oh, God, you, 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 your guitar shrunk. Yeah, this is my newest uh, acquisition, my ukulele, because um, I clearly can't really handle six strings. So this is only Is it easy to play? Because I was talking to a musician and it's he was saying, never mind knowing thinking. about a guitar, get a ukulele, it's easier. But yes. Somebody rubbish that last time I asked them. No, well, it depends what you want to do. If you just want to strum a few chords, I yeah. think it's easier. Yeah. Um, and also, I, I was tossing it between getting a mandolin or yeah. a uke, and I just thought, well, I've never seen anyone else playing a uke in yeah. Worcester, so I'll get one. Isn't there a ukulele orchestra in Worcester yeah. somewhere? Oh, yes. No, well, I don't know if they're a, a, an official, but there's a gathering at the Lamb and the yeah. flag of the I'll ukulele do George group. George Formby songs. Yeah, I've never heard that one before. I've never learned a George Ford song, <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> well, they were Jasper and the Company of Others, they've got a ukulele. Right. Okay. It does go out with the tune, and the intonation isn't very good. But um, anyway, I'm going to do um, obviously the only song that you can do properly on a ukulele, and that's uh, a cover of Radiohead's Creep. Right, yeah, of course. Rock on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 